and welcome back. I'm excited for today's video. I have some fun products to test out, try out. Some are new, some are new-ish. I am finally starting to feel a little bit better after surgery. I am a little sore right now. Forgive me if I sound out of breath, but I just filmed the trying on clips of this video, so I've been filming for a little while now. But I'm excited because everything looks beautiful. First off, I I am going to be doing a video on a bunch of different face tints, tinted moisturizers, stuff that fall in that category. I'm gonna do a video kind of wrapping up what's good, what's bad, what's just okay. So that's coming, but I'm wearing one of them today and I really, really like this one. So stay tuned for that video because I'm going, I'm going to be showing you some amazing skin tints. Um, but let's dive into this. First of all, the Bite Beauty Daycation Whipped blush blush okay this has gotten a lot of buzz on the internet i got this in the shade watermelon marge and this has gotten buzz for its packaging mostly first of all it's very unique it's very different it's very cute and then you open it up and then it's interesting so i got this in the mail a few days after my surgery and my mother was over and I was showing it to her and she said something and about this packaging or I, I don't remember who said what but anyways it got me laughing and it hurts so bad because I just had surgery but um, I don't think they quite thought out the this part of the packaging but when it is closed it is very very cute like I said, I got the shade Watermelon. Let me swatch this for you. It is an extremely whipped formula. So it's very thick at first. It's very moussey, very lightweight, but then it blends in to be a very smooth, not quite powdery, but it feels kind of cooling. It's, I actually really enjoyed applying this to, I almost said the lips, the cheeks on beautifully and I really like this color. As far as this product goes, I love what's inside of it. I like the packaging, but I don't like the packaging. I feel like it's going to eventually be hard to get this out, but it takes such a small dot of this that if you have several blushes in your collection, I don't think you're going to go through it, you know, in a couple of months. I think it'll last okay, but I do like this. I approve. I got another, I seem to have gotten a bunch of face products, um, complexion products, and I got the Kaja, 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 Kaja. I don't know how to say it, Kaja, Kaj, Kaja. I've heard Kaja. Okay, we're gonna stop trying to pronounce it. Anyways, I got the stack of the blush, bronzer, and highlight. This is the shade in Butter Up 01. This is so beautiful. I'm kind of already obsessed. So the bronzer is a cream and it went on beautifully. I literally just put it on my finger, swiped it on my cheek and blended it out with my foundation brush. Very much enjoyed that. I actually am wearing two blushes. So I, I put on the Bite Beauty blush and then I actually topped it with the Kaja, Kaja, Kaja blush, blush. So I'm wearing both because I wanted to try them both out. Both beautiful. This one's a little bit warmer, peachier, and this one's a little bit more cool toned pink. Um, but I think they look very beautiful on the skin. And then the highlighter, I thought it was going to be too dark. In the pan, it looks a little dark, but on the skin, it actually looks really, really pretty. It's not too much, but it's not too little either. Like it's just, a nice middle of the road highlighter. All right, next product is a concealer. This is the Kosas Concealer and I have the shade 0.5N. This is the lightest shade, I believe. It is a neutral undertone. It actually ended up being pretty good shade match. I think my Milk Makeup Concealer is just a touch lighter, but this ended up working beautifully. It brightened the under eyes. It smoothed out so quickly. It looks beautiful under the eyes. It was creamy, but not greasy. First impression of this, I really, really enjoyed the Kosas Concealer. And it looks like there's plenty of product in it. My Milk Makeup one, the problem I have with it is I run out of it really fast. It's the one I use pretty much every time I put my makeup on. So that definitely has something to do with it. But it seems to run out really fast. I don't know, but hopefully, maybe I'll find another concealer that I 
like as much and I can kind of rotate them. But so far, I love this. I got the Rare Beauty birthday set from Sephora and I am wearing the Rare Beauty lip. This is in Comfort, nope, Confident. I believe this is a, it's a moussey, I don't think it's a matte, like it's not, it's not transfer proof. Um, it's kind of a moussey whipped, kind of like the blush is from Bite Beauty, but I actually really enjoyed this. I thought I wasn't going to like it because it's more of a matte product, but it's still hydrating. And then another cream blush. I am all about the blush right now. I don't know why. I used to think that you only needed one shade of blush. That was all. I'm discovering shades of blush. <laughs> this is the Rare Beauty one in Adore. And I haven't put this one on my face because I couldn't put three blushes on. Um, I don't know why I felt like I needed to smell that, but there is that shade. That's a beautiful kind of watermelony blush. It's very similar to the Bite Beauty one. It seems to be much more pigmented. And the Bite Beauty one actually has a little bit of sparkle in it, just, just a touch. I don't notice it on my face, but I do see it on my hand. And then the Rare Beauty one is a little bit more of a juicy looking one than glittery. I haven't tried this on my face yet, but I am excited too. Okay, the product I, I can't say I'm most excited about because I really like these products, but the product I am most excited about, my mother bought me this for my birthday. We went online and shopped for a couple of hours trying to find something and I picked this because it's a product I've wanted for a long time, but it's not one that I am likely to pick up myself because of the price. I, I stick to one, maybe two bronzers and I've been the same with blush, but I'm branching out and I just couldn't justify spending this money on a bronzer when I have the hourglass one in the palette that I like. So I'm obsessed with this already. I used it on top of the cream bronzer today. And this, this is the Lila B Be Sunkissed Bronze Beauty Bronzer Duo. I've seen Alana Davison um, use this a lot. And I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't work on me because she's a little bit more tan than I am. I am quite fair. But I love this. It was beautiful. It didn't go on too heavy. Um, I used kind of a fluffy but pointed fluffy brush and this went on so beautifully. So I'm excited to use this. It didn't kick up a bunch of dust everywhere. It didn't get all dirty. It's, um, I'm excited to have this. I'm just sitting here holding this. The packaging is insanely heavy. It's, it's metal. It feels like a stone and I just, I love it. I don't know why, sorry. So obviously I used other products on my face, but those are the ones I was testing out today. I will talk about the tinted moisturizer, skin tint that I used to date in another video. I also filmed this whole thing, so I'm gonna put that up on Instagram. It will probably already be up on Instagram, me doing this makeup look, so if you wanna know what I am wearing, head on over to Ashley underscore beauty, and you can see the tutorial. I, haven't, I also use the Kosas powder. I, I've already talked about this a lot, which is why I didn't mention it in this video, but I did use the Kosas Cloud Set Powder in Airy. Woo! You sat kind of under my eyes and I have been absolutely loving this powder. So oh, I know that was a super quick video, but I just wanted to show you these products and I've got the skin tint video coming up and then I'm gonna do a spring makeup wrap up, letting you know how I'm liking everything I've tested in the spring. So be on the lookout for that later this month. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna let you know that I really do appreciate my subscribers and those who keep coming back and watching my videos. It's hard for me to like, picture that people are actually coming and watching multiple videos of mine. Um, I've been on here for five years now and I haven't really ever gained much traction, but I did recently hit a thousand. And um, thank you so much to the, thank you so much to those of you who continually watch my videos. But if you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you wanna see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. Stay, what was this? <laughs> Stay gorgeous. Bye. Point zero, no.